In the 60s, Webley used to advertise their guns as shooting through so many straw balls. And I recreated it for the video on Insight. And here you can see the box we made up. Just to use a bit of straw board. I've ordered some more straw balls so we can do the test again just to let you know that's all it is so they're only thin and they used to say oh the Webley pistol will shoot through two straw balls or three and the Webley Mark III will shoot through 12 or 13 and I thought I'd recreate the test here again with my air sporter as you, everyone knows, I like air sporters, but when I say air sporters, I mean the Mark 1s and 2s with a conical piston, not the later ones with the O-ring. This is a Mark 1 air sporter I've got here. Mark 1. And I'm going to try it with a straw ball test. This one hasn't got a very good tap. And I've got Ely Wasp here to try because as people know if you use the smaller pellet you won't get the same velocity it'll be quite lower but as much as two or three foot pound. So I've made sure that's cleared at a tap and I'll try that in the end and see what it does. Do it off to one side. It's stuck in number 16. So it's quite a good performance. It's smoking a bit. But it didn't sound like it dieseled. I'll do another one. But this one hasn't been tuned. This is just a Mark 1 I took out the shop to try for this test. See how many that went through. Gone through about the same. Oh, it's actually gone through that one. And just dented the 16 again. So it's about the same power. So it's quite a reasonable test. I'll try another gun. Just to see if we can get any better than that. This one is a Mark II air sporter. Oh yeah, and this one has got a reasonable tap. Another wasp. Doesn't want to drop in that one. That's dropped in now. We now try a bit to the left. It's done a dent on number 14, so it's not as powerful as the Mark 1. Those of you that have seen my other videos see that I tuned a Mark 1 BSA Meteor. So this is the tuned one I did in that video. So we'll see what this does, just as a matter of... But this is 177, and it's not a wasp pellet, so it probably lose a little bit of power. Gone through to 14, it's just dented 14. That's really good for a small gun, a small light gun tuned. But then meteors, generally they was all good. Even the O-ring ones performed quite well, especially when you tuned them up and put a proper piston head on them. They would go really good. This is one of the air sporters I use myself. 
This one's got the good scope on it. The Simmons one and a half to five by 20. Now I'll try a wasp in this one. I'll turn them upside down to get another shooting area. And the last one has got the mark and the pellet stuck in it at number 16. Right, so we'll try this one off to the right. See where this goes. This is from my air sport at the Mark II. Now I'm going to try my press control gun I use for rating, which is this HW50. And I'm going to use crossbow pellets because this gun is right on the 12 with these pellets. And I'm going to do it onto the left or near the middle. Now this one I'll do in the middle. Yeah, 17. It's just marked the 17, that one. So it's just a little bit more than the Mark 1. And this is the one where I've cut the hood off to get more light on the front side. But this one's tuned and it's right on the limit. And that's the one with the repaired stock that I showed you before on my earlier video. And there we have a matchstick gun. Who remembers them? You cock it. Put a matchstick in it and fire it. Just a bit of nostalgia from the old days. I've got some jumbos at 15.89. As a matter of interest, I'm just going to try them in a straw ball test. And this time I'm going to shoot it on the left. I'll put the jumbo in. Now what are they called? Yeah, jumbos. Now this is on the left side. Mark the 17, is it? Yeah, just mark the 17 again. But then it is consistent, that gun. If you do make one of these straw ball testers, you can always rotate these round to use and get the most out of them. I could rotate it down one turn and then use this top edge by shooting at the top middle. And I do that just to check out a pistol. Because a pistol ain't going to go in very far. Make sure they're all level. It's not going to go that far anyway, so we'll try that there with a pistol now. I'm going to use a Webley. It says Hurricane, but it obviously isn't. This is 177, which is why I'm using this one. Because the 2-2 ain't going to go in very far at all. This ain't going to go in very far, but it'll go in better than the 2-2. So I'm going to fire it near the top, getting it all level. Number 7 by the look of it. Just a little dent on number 7. 
So that's the Webley. Pretty good for a Webley actually. 